Inner chains. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of this brand new developer. An FPS horror game set in a surreal, dark and deadly biomechanical world never seen before. Humankind is just a small part of the hostile universe. Want to survive? Discover its secrets. Guys, I was sent a copy of this in beta form a few days before release. I played it the day before release, um, so I could have this review ready to go out on release day. I was given a footnote about some changes that would happen on release. I have subsequently played the game again today to see if this review is still valid, and it is totally still valid, and that's a shame. The game is just not very good, guys, and I'm going to tell you why. Let's start with the options, guys. Um, very minimalistic. Um, the resolution won't go to 1080p. It's kind of set, it looks to me, the aspect ratio is set for consoles. I could be wrong, but that's the, the way that the whole game kind of felt anyway when I was playing it, that it was kind of more for consoles than it was for, for the PC. Take the mouse and keyboard uh, controls, for example. You can't even rebind them. I mean, there's only a few keys anyway, but you can't rebind them. You can't even set the sensitivity of the mouse. So the options are pretty poor. It does run on an Xbox controller, by the way, uh, just so you know. The game itself, you... Yes, it's supposed to be a horror first-person shooter. It's set on this planet where nature and a lost technology from a human race has kind of merged together to form these new life forms, if you like. And you are oppressed by the, the, the mankind of grown up inside of all this technology but they don't fully understand it and um, there's a lot of oppression going on and you have to try and escape the planet and that's what the game's about and it's quite a weird world it's it's very ancient but then you'll come across high-tech force fields and things that you have to deactivate to get through uh, you deactivate them by pressing the, a button which is a head on a stick <laughs> which, which looks so stupid it's just this head that's alive of course on a stick and 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 that and also you'll, you'll come to parts where you can't pass unless you have the right mark on your hand that's kind of early on in the game and you have to go and get looks like your hand stamped off this plant biomechanical machine you know like when you're at a rock concert and you get the back of your hand stamped with one of them stupid little things to say hey you've paid you're allowed to go out and come back in or if you're a blonde haired girl with big tits, you just suck them off on the back of the end and you get mad. The game kind of starts as a walking simulator for the first 15 minutes and then you start grabbing weapons. You have to do a bit of melee combat, which is absolutely terrible. You press F to punch. You have no feeling at all. It's hard to tell when you're hitting and when you're not. It's just so badly done. It's weightless. It's, it's, it's feelingless. It's dead, the combat. And the gunplay is just as bad. The gunplay in this game is bloody awful, to be honest with you. The guns themselves are, are pretty trash. You have this gun that fires like an electric pulse, which you can only keep going for about three seconds, then it overheats, and it's like cools down for a couple of seconds, then you can fire it again. But it has, again, no feeling of damage. You just meet an enemy and you start firing this electric electricity at him and he'll pull his gun out and he'll fire his electricity at you and you both stand there just firing electricity at each other then both your guns will overheat then you fire another pulse and it's who's gonna die first and then they'll just drop down oh, it's me i'm dying and then you just drop you know there's no health bar on anybody you don't know how much damage they're taking you don't know how much damage you're taking you see blood around the edge of your screen and then a, a, about a second later if you keep out of combat you're fully back to health again and so you have no sense of how close you were to death or anything the ai in the gunplay is is it's absolutely fucking awful. I mean, you, you have a flamethrower, which looks really good, and you, you fire the flamethrower at people, and they've only got rags, they've only got cloth armour, and they're running through the flames as if it's fine. It's like, all right, mate, I know I'm burning alive here, but, you know, I'm just going to get in melee range, and I'm going to hit you with me fist, or I'm going to just stand here and fire me electric gun at you while you're burning me. You know, they, they don't. there's no sense of any kind of meat in the, in the gunplay. You don't feel like you're, you're firing a weapon at them and that they're reeling under the, under the weapon. I mean, there's another gun that fires these spinning blade things that you can literally take the head off a zombie with ease if you hit them in the neck. But you fire these at the human enemies and you can 
fire like 15 of these things at them, which would be cutting their body to shreds. And they're just running at you as if, you know, hi, are you right there? Oh, I see you're firing spinning blades at me that will could easily take me head off. But, you know, they do nothing to me. I'm, I'm fine. And then all of a sudden, they'll go, oh, sorry, no, you've killed us. And then they'll just drop dead, you know? It's, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's when you can actually hit the enemy because there's so many up hitboxes on the scenery in this game that it's ridiculous you stand there and you think oh, i'm gonna just shoot you. you've got total line of sight between you and the actual enemy you pull the trigger only to find that there's a big invisible hitbox off part of the scenery in front of you it's it's awful the ai is is even worse guys never mind the weapon gunplay the ai is atrocious the the <laughs> There's one bit where there's this guy on patrol and he's just patrolling past a plant and the plants in this game have a root system and if you walk within the roots of a plant you will be attacked off the plant uh, in the form of either an explosive pod that it'll drop or it might fire something at you or in most cases it's a tentacle that stabs you like a scorpion sting and the, they do quite a bit of damage and I was watching this AI guy patrolling past a plant and he was obviously walking into the roots and just getting attacked and he, I just thought I wonder if he dies and I just waited a few minutes and yeah he died he died just walking along oblivious that he was getting absolutely hammered off this fucking plant and that is the way the AI is all through this game. You shoot them, pull them into traps, and they will just run in oblivious. They just have no sense whatsoever. If you step up an area where they can't get to, they'll immediately stop chasing you and go back. They don't even think of running around the corner and firing at you. They just, they are, right, we can't get him now. He's, he's jumped up a one meter high step. That's it. He's thwarted us. Damn, those meddling kids. You know, it's it's ridiculous, absolutely awful, the AI. And it's a sad thing because the game looks really good. The world looks, I think it looks fine. It's made with the Unreal Engine. It looks good. You know, it's a good idea. I quite like the whole way the story is. You, you don't interact with anybody in a meaningful way. You don't understand the language. You're uncovering the, 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 these letters, the alphabet letters, so you can, I assume, communicate with them later on in the game. But the game's only six hours long, and I've already played it for, like, I think, four hours. And so I'm nearly at the end. But honestly, it was like doing community service. It was so boring to play because the main thing you do throughout the game is you have the gunplay going on. And because the combat and gunplay are so bad, it makes you not want to play the game. It's it's like, uh, I don't want to do this. It's, it's awful. And, you know, it was really hard work just actually finishing the game to a, a level where I could make this, this video. It's so sad and I, and I do feel sorry for the developers. It's their first game and they've messed it up big time by not really having any quality control on the AI and the gunplay. They've, they've messed it up. They've made a really good world. It's a really believable good world. It is linear, but it's still a nice looking place to, to explore. But it's just so repetitive and boring. You've got the force fields and you deactivate them by following the cable and then shooting electricity or pressing a button on the, the control pad or, or frazzling it with your electricity gun. You've got plants everywhere that you have to avoid. You've got these stations where you can refill your gun just by walking up to them. And you've got these other plants which tell you the way to go. If you walk up and press the use button on them, they'll say, go that way by emitting a little green mist, a little bit of mist. And then you've got these other plants that suck your face off and actually show you something that's complex completely irrelevant on the map to be honest with you I mean they, they weren't helpful to me at all and that's pretty much it your, your enemies consist of a few dogs a few zombies some run slow some run fast and you've got these guards who are kind of armored differently with different weapons but the gunplay of everything that you fire at in this game is awful. The plants are easy to bypass if you just burn them. There's plenty of ammo about the place with these machines that you can just replenish your ammo with. There's no challenge really. I think I died once going up to the boss, this boss guy. And this boss guy is ridiculous. He sees you when he's got his back to you. And then he fires at you through a pillar and kills you with one shot. I mean, what the f*** is that all about? Come on, man, for f sake. Honestly, honestly, it, it's 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 like a Unreal Store asset flip. This game, 
It's it's almost like two different developers made this, two different studios. One made the world and put really attention to detail in this world and made the world look good. And then this other developer came in and says, we don't know what the f*** we're doing with uh, AI and gunplay, but we'll we'll have a laugh with it, lol. And, and they've just messed up that whole side of things. And it's a shame. So there you go. I do kind of feel for the developers because it is their first game but they need to learn by this and i hope they do and i hope they come back stronger with a better game or even fix this game i mean it's it is fixable but they need to do a lot of work on the ai and the gunplay but as long as they learn from it and bring something better next time then you know that's fine but this time guys it isn't worth a buy